Hi ladies, welcome back for another video. And in this one, I have a massive, huge, gigantic <laughs> collective haul of skincare, body care, feminine hygiene products that I have collected since the start of December, since the beginning of December. And it's just like, baby, what are you doing? The thing is, I started creating content about stuff I'm passionate about, and I don't know if that was the best idea because now this outlet has just brought out the beast. Like, I am a product junkie for real, and you know what? I'm not even gonna apologize for it. I'm so thankful that I'm able to love on my body, finesse my body, have beautiful showers and feel good about myself. So I'm not gonna apologize for it, but I do need to calm down because I'm not gonna have anywhere to put all this stuff soon. So let's just get into it. First off, I'm gonna start with, okay, what I got from the Bath and Body Works sale. I was very modest, so that's good. That's good. So first off, I got the Cotton Candy and Champagne Ultimate Hydration Body Cream. I had taken a shower with the wash and the scent is out of this world. And I had bought some other things and actually returned them to get more of this scent. The notes are bubbly rose, sweet strawberry, and pink sugar. I am a pink sugar fanatic and even better, it's mixed with strawberry. So this is the cream. I have the moisturizing body wash. I now have two of them. So I have two moisturizing body washes and the body cream. This is all from the, the body care sale. So these are all $5.50 each. Originally $13.50, $15.50. I'm just mad at myself I didn't stock up because the scent is outrageous. You smell like cotton candy, but not childish. It's like because of the strawberry notes, you literally smell like strawberry candy and it's a wonderful scent. And to top that off, I also picked up the strawberry pound cake. I'm, I'm just sad I couldn't pick up, I didn't pick up more. Why? This is fresh strawberries, golden shortcake and whipped cream. This smells like straight strawberry cheesecake. It is outrageously amazing and it smells hella good. Last night I took a shower with these two. I was just sad that I was the only one that could experience it because somebody needs to smell that on me. And then I picked up the Cotton Candy Champagne Fragrance Mist to just top all that strawberry sweetness, pink sugar goodness all off. This, I hope it comes back like next year because I'm done going body care crazy on this scent. And I also got the Aromatherapy Lavender and Vanilla Sleep Mist. This smells wonderful. I'm going to have, coming up with a lavender nighttime routine. So I'm going to be using this in it. It's going to be so relaxing and wonderful. It smells so peaceful. That vanilla really soothes down the, the lavender. Lovely. Let's do the Dollar Store, right? From Dollar Tree. Can you believe Dollar Tree is no longer Dollar Tree? It's Dollar Twenty-Five Tree. That's the saddest thing that's happened all year. Okay, first world problems, but yeah, that extra 25 cents just messes up your, your count, right? Anyways, Dollar Tree, I found this. I really wanted a lip gloss and this is the infused lip oil. These are very nice. Comes in a squeezy tube. It is very light, smooth, moisturizing. It is on my lips right now. And it's very shiny and it's not sticky. It's like a thick lip oil. So this was a great buy. Fine, fine, fine. This was a fine. This is the Vaseline All Purpose Cream. I was looking randomly one day for a hand cream because my hands were out of control ashy. The winter air up north has been very brutal. And I found this in Dollar Tree, picked it up, tried it, and went back to the shelf and bought six more. And this is just a couple of the boxes that I have 
because I planted them in my car, my handbag. I gave my mom one. I have one in my beauty case. This, if you see this in your Dollar Tree, incredible. It is infused with Vaseline, which like locks in the moisture and makes your hands so soft and supple. If someone shakes your hand, which is not advisable in, in this time, but if they do, your hands are gonna feel like porridge. And that's a good thing. Also from the Dollar Tree, I picked up a beauty sponge because why do I have to pay $10 for one? This is, look how cute. That is the cutest little thing. So yeah, I use this for my powders to just get right. Look, look at the tip of it. You see that? Perfect for that inner corner. Perfect. One dollar. I got this before the the price raise, so. Oh, and it comes with a little mirror on the inside. That's awesome. That's so cute. One buck. That's all I need. Another Dollar Tree find, these facial scrubbers. I wanted to, I've been meaning to get this for the longest time, and I went into Dollar Tree, found it. It comes in a set of two. I already have one I'm using inside the shower, but this is just fine for what I need it for. Just a little extra um, scrubbing without being harsh. It's made of like silicone, so no bacterial buildup. Perfect. This was awesome. One dollar for a shampoo brush. This is actually better than the one I bought on Amazon. I love the tips. This is also silicone and it does an excellent job scrubbing and rubbing that scalp. Ultimate circulation with this one. If you want your hair to grow fast, run. Don't walk to your Dollar Tree for this gem, the best massager, and I've used a few, the best shampoo brush massager I've used for one buck. If you love bar soap, go check out their bar soap sections. They have great bar soap that you can try, one dollar each. I went in with some Yardleys, and this is the activated charcoal. I want to try this for a detox shower routine in the future. This is bentonite clay to help cleanse and purify skin. If you suffer with body odor, um, strong armpits, detox. So I'm one, I really wanna try that. Also picked up the Shea and Buttermilk Yardley. This is gently cleanses with delicate chamomile and creamy buttermilk for sensitive skin. So if you have sensitive skin, this is sensitive skin friendly. Smells lovely. And this is the Yardley Wild Rose. They all smell so good. They're hydrating, infused with coconut oil. So yeah, Wild Rose Yardley. Also picked up a pack of shower caps because you can never have enough. You use them for deep conditioning. You get eight in a pack for one buck. You can't beat it with a stick. This wasn't from the dollar store. This is from a place called Ollie's. It's like a discount bargain store. I feel like they carry overstock items or items that are out of season for like really cheap. I picked up a pack of um, floss picks. I'm a floss freak. I guess because I can't stand when things are in my teeth. Like it's the biggest pet peeve for me. So I'm always like with these. And this is 150, 150 floss picks for 99 cents. How could I, how could I ever leave that? And this is by Oral-B. Also at Ollie's, I picked up a four pack of washcloths. I like these. I don't like when washcloths are too thick. I don't feel like it gets that scrub going. And I like white washcloths. I just, just bleach them out and start all over. So I love this pack of washcloths. I've, I've used one already. Love the texture, perfect thickness or perfect thinness to get all the creases. It lathers up with the soap perfect. You know some rags, they just don't, they, they absorb all the lather. This one is great, 100% cotton, quick dry. $3 for a pack of four. Okay, let's go to Dollar General. At Dollar General, I picked up a big old bottle of conditioner because I ran out and I needed some for my wig. <laughs> like, I had no wig conditioner, so I just picked up this huge bottle of Suave. It's the Almond and Shea Moisturizing Conditioner. I've used this a long time ago in the past, and I figured it was good enough for my curly wig. So that's from Dollar General. Also from Dollar General, I wanted to try this Body Fantasies Cotton Candy Spray. So in con 
In conjunction with those Bath & Body Works products I have, I sprayed this on after my shower. I smell delicious. This is not a mature scent at all. It smells like very concentrated strawberry Kool-Aid. Like it's a cute scent if you're like hanging around the house or you just wanna feel like candy coated. Like if you have a theme going on and you just wanna like top it off with this. Like it smells like straight Kool-Aid. Lastly from Dollar General, I saw this and I thought it was great for a pampering hair spa day. This is the scalp scrub treatment from By Root to End. And it's literally a scalp scrub, which is awesome. I've scrubbed my scalp before with a homemade kind of concoction um, back when I was natural and I it felt great. This one, it uses pumice and has peppermint in it. So it tingled. I've already tried it. I enjoyed it. I thought it was great. These two together did the damn thing. I could feel my scalp, like I could feel my hair growing already with this combo. <laughs> this was a buy at Home Goods. I really needed a hair turban. This is a microfiber hair turban. I needed one. I had five and I don't know where any of them are in this point of life. So I bought a new one. I got pink because I love pink. And this was $4.99. No, this was $3.99. So $4.00 to protect my hair when I'm in the shower or dry it off after a wash day. From Burlington, <laughs> there's a theme going on here. I wonder what color it is. This is the TGIN Smooth and Detangle Comb. This is a wide tooth comb, which I needed. This is a good quality comb. It has weight to it. There's no seams. There's no seams on this comb. So that won't snag your hair. It's Sturdy, like it's a sturdy comb. And it was so big and pretty. TGIN is a brand I trust. And so far so great. $2.99, I couldn't pass it up and I needed it, so. Okay, ladies, so I saved the biggest for last. Walmart. <laughs> Walmart takes all my money, like they get on my nerves. Let's just start. So at Walmart, I picked up some multivitamins. I needed some new multivitamins. I finished my gummy ones. Gummy vitamins are like some kind of scam con, I swear. I feel like they don't do anything. So I went back to the tablets and this is just the regular women's one a day. It has iron in it. If it doesn't have iron in it, it's like, how can I trust you? You don't have iron. Yeah, I need my supplements. Then I picked up the Azo Urinary Tract Health Cranberry Probiotics. This is for vaginal health. If you're a woman, you should know the benefits of cranberry for the vagina. The urinary tract system just keeps it clear, keeps it functioning, makes sure everything's on balance and cranberry supplements are a great way to do that. If you do not drink cranberry juice often or flush your system out with uh, lemon water, um, add this to your to your regimen, and if you suffer from uh, UTIs, urinary tract infections, often this will help. I got a small box just to try it out and see like if it, I see any changes. Is this worth it? But this is a good um, supplement to have in your feminine arsenal. Continuing with feminine care, we got some reups on some products. I got another Vagisil. This is my go-to. This is the Odor Block Daily Intimate Wash. I was running low, so I wanted to stock back up on her. Okay, so I said I didn't like scents down there, but um, I had to try it. This is the Vagisil Sensitive Scents, and this is in the Spring Lilac Skin Friendly Scent pH Balance, which is very important. It smells so smells so good this smell this smells wonderful like if if my if my hmm, could smell like this we're winning in life i just had to do it okay if you watch my shop with me you'll see me start off in the vaginal care area and i discovered a whole bunch of intimate deodorants i was like where this is a real thing so <laughs> I decided to try one and this is the Vagisil Odor Block. I decided to go with the classic. 
that I already know, just in a product that I'm not familiar with. If you've ever used um, vaginal deodorants and a dry wash before, please let me know how you like it down below. I'm not exactly sure how to use this. I thought it was a deodorant. The other ones I saw in store were deodorants, but this is saying it's a dry wash. Is there any difference? Do I just spray and go? I don't know, but it, it was just too intriguing to pass up. And who couldn't use ex like I don't I don't know anybody that can't use extra freshness down there. So listen, I'm just covering all my bases. I got some deodorants because I was running low and I needed a couple more scents actually because I can't always smell like cocoa butter with everything. <laughs> All I have is cocoa butter scented deodorants and that, that just wasn't working. So I picked up a couple more deodorants, a few more deodorants actually. This is the Dove Sensitive, the solid. So I got the Dove Sensitive, no scents, just regular, can go with anything, good protection. This is the Dove Advanced Care and I think it's like Fresh Pear and Aloe, the Advanced Care, this smells incredible it's <sighs> if you were onto the dove pear line why didn't why didn't you tell me why why you ain't i thought we were friends why am i just discovering dove pear scent this smells good with the tea at the end this is a daytime scent that i want to smell like i'm good with this i picked up two dry sprays this is the Dove Lavender and Vanilla in the Zero Aluminum, which I'm very excited to try. Um, I love vanilla in my lavender. Just calms it down so it's not too mature of a scent. It's more tolerable. Vanilla is like one of those notes you can't go wrong with. If you add vanilla to anything, you're most likely okay. And this is the Zero Aluminum, so I'm gonna be using this at night. I like to use dry sprays at night. It's just light just so I don't wake up with stinky pits. And this is the Pink Rose Dry Spray from Dove. I thought this smelled so good. It smells just nice. It smells like lotion, like Jergens lotion or something. It just smells like a clean, well-moisturized woman. It's not like too floral and overwhelming it just smells like it complements a nice clean body i like to use my dry sprays at night and then i feel like the sticks are more like uh, heavy duty it's like, like a layer of paste <laughs> under my arms in the daytime to keep me fresh so that's good i picked up another cetaphil at walmart this is my gentle skin cleanser this is my life-changing product Ever since I've used this or introduced this into my skincare routine, my skin has been the creamiest, the most even, the most, the least textured. I'm so impressed and proud and I have no one to blame but Cetaphil. Thank you. This is for dry to normal sensitive skin. I have sensitive skin. I'm reactive to many things and I will break out in hives if my skin doesn't like it. So this, I'm so happy I found this and I will never be without her. I'll introduce other things, but I will never be without her. On skincare, I picked up the, <laughs> speaking of skincare, I picked up the Bubble Winter SOS Kit. This was a great deal for items I already use and one that I actually wanna try. So this was so perfect. Um, you get the cleanser the Bounce Back Toner and the um, high, Slam Dunk Hydrating Moisturizer. I already have these two, love them. If you watched my Beauty Faves, I put them in my Beauty Faves of 2021. I will link it up atop so you can watch that and see my review on that. And I always, I wanted to try their cleanser and it came in the kit. So I get to re-up on favorites and try something I wanted to try anyway. So this was $19.99 online. I saw it for $14, which I'm mad about because I'm not buying two, but that was a cyber deal. I don't, they might still have it at that price. If you wanna try out Bubble Beauty, which is a really good um, sensitive skin friendly 
skincare brand at Walmart, I highly recommend. I picked up some body washes from Walmart and this was one that I was hemming and hawing about in my shop with me, my Walmart shop with me. I did go back and get it. I actually tried this out as a, for my shower and it's incredible. It's so luxurious. It's so moisturizing. It's so hydrating. It lathers like a dream. Like I didn't know soft soap was going on with all of that. I thought it was, you know, a little cheapy brand, but no, she can hold her weight with the big brands like Olay and, and Dove. She's very moisturizing. And the scent is so beautiful. It's lavender, but m like mellowed out with honey. Very soothing. An experience in the shower when the lavender just envelops you. But the steam, you see where I'm going here. Next shower routine will be my lavender routine. So you'll see what I'm doing. You'll see, you'll see. Also picked up the Dove Refreshing Cucumber and Green Tea Body Wash. This smells like amazing incredible i'm so impressed i didn't because i'm not a cucumber girl like cucumber just for one it seems basic and for two i'm just thinking about like spa and i don't really like the smell of a spa but this has that like these two would be great together the the pear and the cucumber awesome for a morning shower wakes you right up you'll feel invigorated and beautiful scented so i'm happy i got this these two are gonna be best friends. Um, I kind of need a lotion to complement this. So if you have any suggestions for a complimenting Dove lotion for this refreshing cucumber and green tea, let me know because complimenting, not matching, but complimenting. I, don't, I like to compliment. I don't need a whole set of the same thing. Just something that smells good together. I actually wouldn't mind getting the pear lotion if there's one or any kind of pear lotion because that just sounds awesome and if you're wondering if i hate you oh i do i picked up some scrubs because if i see tree hut in walmart i'm grabbing them they go fast you're lucky if you see any so um i went one day and lucky lucky me i saw the coco colada I picked up the Coca Colada Shea Sugar Scrub from Tree Hut. This smells awesome. Smells like pina colada. So you could definitely smell pineapple and coconut. Very refreshing, very tropical. If you need like a tropical scented body scrub in your routine, Coca Colada is it. Very summery. And Tree Hut scrubs are my favorite. Like, I love the texture, I love the grit. Like, it's buffing you. If you have sensitive skin, um, you know, beware. But I just love the texture of uh, tree hut scrubs. Also picked up the Tahitian vanilla bean, which is what I was looking for. So thankfully I went in there, saw some, picked one up. And this one I've already used and <laughs> it goes beautifully with this. I thought this would be more vanilla, like vanilla cream but this is more like floral i don't mind it went beautifully with this so we have a little team here and i was curious about these hemp scrubs so i picked this one up this is the me bath moisturizing hemp body scrub and cucumber so i have a little duo here cucumber duo see this is the scent i know cucumber to be which is more refreshing more spa like almost like aromatherapy this is the classic cucumber scent this isn't a sugar scrub this is walnuts so i'm interested in trying it i've never tried this brand before i like the grit okay we're almost done i promise picked up a thera breath this is the rainforest mint thera breath is one of the best mouthwashes you can use if you're intimate, if you're close proximity to others, this is the mouthwash you need. It coats the entire mouth and just protects you from bad breath. So I highly recommend Thera Breath. And this is a new flavor for me, the Rainforest Mint. I like it. I picked up a Shea Moisture Intensive Hydration Mask. I'm almost out of my other one and I needed to re-up. I use this 
Honestly, I use this more as a moisturizer than I do a deep conditioner, but I love it as a deep conditioner. I love it as a mask. I love it as a leave-in. I love it as a conditioner. It's, I love this product. This is my multitasking um, workhorse on my relaxed hair. If you're looking for a straight moisture conditioner, this has no protein in it. So very safe bet if you're protein sensitive. This is a lotion I picked up. This is the Jergens Body Butter Collection in lavender. We have a lavender team I'm building for this routine, guys. I already have one of these in rose, so I love the formula. The formula of these are incredible, so rich, so rich. Do you need hydration for a dry winter skin? These Jergens Body Butter Collections are it, and they come in multiple fragrances. So, and this lavender scent, this is straight lavender, so it's lavender. <laughs> um, but I like it. It's, a, it's very calming, soothing. It smells the essential oils in it. I've already used this. I enjoy it thoroughly. My skin was hydrated, glowy, beautiful. And to complement that, because you know, I'm an oil girl. I have a new outlook on creams and lotions now because I used to not like creams and lotions because for one, they're hard to work in for me. Like it's annoying to work them in. And for two, I feel like no matter how rich it was, my skin would just drink it up and become dry again. So I became an oil girl and I started adding the oils to my lotions. Game changer. I can't I can't even use lotion without oil in it anymore. So I picked this up to complement that body butter and to use on my kids, everything. This is the Dr. Teal's Moisturizing Bath and Body Oil Sleep Blend with melatonin to lull you to sleep. It doesn't specifically say lavender, but it's a soothing nighttime smell that goes very well, very well with the Jergens um, Lavender Body Butter. And this, so my skin was glowing. I can't wait to, I can't wait to show you all. Also re-upped on my, this is like what, my sixth bottle, my sixth bottle or so. Another Cocoa, Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula Moisturizing Body Oil. I feel like all black women should smell like cocoa butter. It's just like a rite of passage. I love cocoa butter scented things, um, warm scented things, and I just throw this in any lotion that is warm enough to complement it glowing beautiful glorious skin if you checked out my hot cocoa pampering shower routine you'll see the uh the gorgeousness that it left and i picked up this shea moisture olive and green tea bath and body massage oil with avocado this says it's for anti-aging and ultra moisturizing just another oil i'm collecting oils if you have any oil recommendations whether you like them whether you tried new ones if you just let me know down below because I'm collecting them. All scents, all all styles, preferably like scented ones. I don't I don't feel like just using dried jojoba oil. That's boring. Give me pineapple and <laughs> just let me know what uh, body oils are around. I want to try the Neutrogena one, and Hemp's has one that I really want to try. So I love Shea Moisture. I've actually had this in the past, a long, 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 long time ago. Mm, it's very mild. Oh, ooh, this would be perfect with my cucumber routine. I just need a lotion to complement it, okay? I just need a lotion. So yeah, that's from Shea Moisture and another body oil. I'm body oil crazy. I'm the oil girl now, ladies. I'm the oil girl. That's all I got. That's everything. That's not too much, right? As I said, this is a collective haul. I did not just sit down and buy all of these things at once. This was just randomly, yes, randomly accumulated throughout the month. And I just wanted to save everything and put it in a video and call it a day so I can bust things out of the box and start putting away some items. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, go ahead and hit like. Let's build an army of product junkies. Let me influence you to buy things you probably don't need, but you deserve. If you want more of this content, subscribe. How you, how you gonna know when I come out with a new video if you don't subscribe? Come join la familia.
baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Loca. Dina. God. Come here. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.